For over six decades, Gene Arnold has contributed to excellence in music radio. His career includes being a singer, actor, songwriter, record producer, concert promoter, commercial creator, voiceover artist, and disco DJ Hall of Fame pioneer. He teamed with broadcast pioneer member Ron Joseph to create the first afternoon oldie show on the market on WIFI-FM. It was in the mid-60s that he became known as Giant Gene. Hello world, this is Giant Gene on the scene. His move from oldies to progressive rock was almost by accident. According to legend, he left his oldies home one day and had no choice but to play albums that had been discarded by other DJs, which included Jefferson Airplane, The Doors, Big Brother and the Holding Company, and The Grateful Dead. Those progressive rock artists became the core of what came to be called Giant Gene's Electric Scene. On WCAM, he presented Giant Gene's AM Underground, moving later to WIBG, and then years later back to WCAM. The list of artists and songs he promoted is endless. He even wrote, produced, and narrated the famous commercial. I've fallen, and I can't get up! In 1980, Arnold created Gene Arnold's Superstar Concerts, anchored at Philadelphia's WZZD. The program ran on stations across America. Deb Shops and Merry-Go-Round were natural national sponsors. Today, rebroadcasts are still played on the Internet. Along with his singer-wife Terry and son Jody, Gene created national programming featuring the likes of such artists as Michael Jackson and others. It's really great to be able to hang with you today. Slowed by a car accident in 1988, Gene has dedicated his songwriting to those combating injuries from similar mishaps. One such song is called, I Won't Quit Now. Please welcome Gene Arnold into the Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame. Hello world, it is Giant Gene on the scene with his record machine, but tonight it's a thank you machine. I have a lot to thank everybody for because I almost hadn't made it here tonight or even into this world. But with dear friends and dear people like Pris and Jim, Danny and Marty and a lot of other friends and my son Jody who of course involved himself with everything we ever did in the radio and TV business. Jody was one of the youngest paid TV uh, and producers and um, disc jockeys in the country. When we used to do the AM Underground and you talk about being high, well, I used to sit on the 19th floor ledge and do my show live. Could have fallen off and put an end to it all. But we didn't. He used to help me do that show. Terry is my mainstay, my life and my wife. And basically, um, is that a better mic? Okay. Um, my wife, my partner in every venture we ever did, from when we owned our record label to the studios to the promotions of what we were doing, all of our advertising. And she did it all, basically. She and my son Jody are the main reason I'm here tonight, and I've got to thank them as well as other dear friends like Pat Delcy, who fired me every five minutes. Whenever Jerry Blavitt said, fire him, he's playing that horrible music. But um, I still love Pat. We get along very, very well. But I really would not have been able to be here without a couple of very special people in my career. And I do appreciate all of them. And Jerry said, speak no more than 10 seconds. Was it 10 seconds or 15? But anyway, I want to say thank you to everybody. To Jerry, thank you for the honor. There is Jerry. And um, again, Terry and my son Jody have really are the main reasons that I'm here and our other son, Brian, and the rest of my family because they helped me do each and every of these things. They used to run tapes out the stations for us at 5 o'clock in the morning to get them on the air at 6 in the morning. We edited TV shows and put them back together. As a matter of fact, we used to put sawhorses up in our den and they'd put a door on the sawhorses and run the editing system on those and then get tapes the stations in time. But he became, with our Superstar concert, one of the youngest, um, I'd have to say, editors, tape splicers, and producers of the Gene Arnold Superstar concert that went all over the world now on the internet. But before that, it was about 100 stations across the country in syndication. And anyway, my voice is not right anymore because I had lung cancer, another kind of cancer, and bit by bit I beat that and thank God I'm cancer-free at the moment. That's the best words I could ever say. Thank you. 
but that doesn't always mean a lot, doesn't always mean a lot when it comes to cancer. So we just keep our fingers crossed. I also have to thank, there are thousands and thousands of people who prayed for me all over the world in prayer chains, and I believe that their prayers help lift us all up. So I thank you all, and especially the people who voted me into the Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame. I've been blessed to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, DJ Hall of Fame, Disco DJ Hall of Fame. This is more fun because you are my friends and this is my, this is my place and my home. And I really would like you to give my wife, Terry, a nice hand because she is the one who put the whole thing together for us. So she is extremely deserving and our son, Jody, who did all the hard work. Anyway, as I will say to you, giant Gino scene, blue skies and green lights to all, love you.